Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a new tutorial series on functions in C. So your assignments for today are as follows. So the first one is um, write a program to print hello world using function. So the thing is, what is a function? Function is a self-contained block of code that can be called from anywhere. So uh, the main reason why we use functions is to uh, ensure modularity in our program. So if a function doesn't, uh, if a program doesn't have a modular structure, it becomes uh, too lengthy and unorganized. So uh, using a function in a while writing our program helps us to clean up our code and gives it a more organized and a more efficient look. So uh, the first one it says write a program to print hello world using function. So we all know what is the uh, standard procedure for uh, printing hello world using the main function. So remember that the main function that we traditionally use in our program that is also a sort of function. But uh, here we'll be using uh, a separate function other than main. So the function that we'll be using in our program will have to uh, call that from the main function. So all functions in C they start they do not start executing until and unless I call them from somewhere and in this case we'll have to invoke the function that is we'll have to activate the function by calling it explicitly from the uh, main method so first of all let me write the code for this program so first of all I'll write include hello sorry std io dot h then I'll be writing my int main method uh, no sorry okay int main so after that I'll be giving a parenthesis which will contain our uh, body method body of the main method and here I'll type hello one so this hello one represents the function that will be calling from the main method so now let me write the body of the hello one method so as you can see that hello one doesn't actually return any value to the main method so here what we'll be doing is we will simply write void hello one and we'll write our code in our in this method so here I'll simply print printf uh, hello world we can write any sort of uh, text over here so as the objective of the program is to print hello world I'll, I'm including the statement hello world inside uh, the printf method printf statement so uh, this is this constitutes the entirety of hello one method so after it uh, prints the printf sorry after it prints the hello world statement this program is essentially completed so uh, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind while writing a program so uh, using a function that is so in this case we are writing a function called hello world and uh, we are writing a function called hello one sorry and the hello one function is printing a body of text called hello world so you can see that uh, in the while we are writing the function we include a statement called void so what does this void statement actually mean so the void statement actually means that uh, this function doesn't return any value to the main method so whenever we are calling a function so here what we are doing is we are calling the function from the main method calling hello one from main so this hello one function will not start to operate on its own unless and until we call it from the main method so it will start this function will be activated the moment we call it from hello one sorry we ca call it from the main method so as long as we don't call it from the main method this function will simply not work so when we call it from the main method what happens is that uh, this function gets activated because you can see this uh, line of text is exactly the same as that of this function so the name of this function over here and the name of the function that we have called from the main method they are an exact match so when we call this function this function is uh, invoked and it uh, goes inside the body of the function and, and it prints the hello world statement 
and this function uh, doesn't not does not actually return any kind of value to the main method so for that reason it says that the return type of the function is void okay so there is one more thing uh, that i uh, okay first of all let me run the program and show you how it works so let me make it hello function hello f u n c let me name it as li like this so c source file so obviously if i run the program it will show the output hello world so there is no problem in that but the problem will start to occur if i cut the program from here and i paste it down below the main method at that time the problem will start so let me just try to run the program once again so in this case it worked but uh, there is a pot possibility that if you write the program over here and if you uh, if you uh, write the main method over here and you include the program that is a function body below the main method in some compilers especially in older compilers that were included in ides like turbo c what happened was that when you wrote the main method above the function that is uh, about to be called when you made the function call that function did not work so in those situations what we needed to do was that we needed to specify the function signature before the main method sorry why not white main white hello one so this line of text is essentially essentially it is the function signature void hello one over here it is act actually the signature of the function so it says what kind of uh, it just specifies the name of the function the parameters it is likely to have if any and the return type so whenever you you are writing a function below the main method in some compilers you can see that it will not work unless and until you specify the signature of the function above the main method so if you face any problems after writing the function below the main method if you try to execute the function and it doesn't work you will have to specify the function function signature above the main method but this problem will not occur if you are writing the function above the main method like i did previously so if you write the function hello one above int main so in that case you do not need to specify the function signature you you will have to only specify the function signature if you write the function below the main method and after calling it from main it doesn't work and it doesn't produce the desired results so here uh, what happened was that i was expecting that the function would not work because i've written it below main uh, without actually specifying the function signature but it still worked i think it is supported in this compiler that we are using that is tdm gcc gcc compiler 4.9.2 but in some older compilers there was a problem that when we called the function from uh, the main method and the function was actually written below main it didn't work so in those situations we had to specify the function signature comprising of the name of the function parameters here there are no parameters and the uh, return type be above main so that is what we needed to do for uh, functions that were written below main method remember that this is not applicable to functions that are written above the main method so this concludes our rather simple and short tutorial on uh, writing a hello world function so i'll see you in my next video in which uh, we will explore how we can print the factors of a no number using a separate function so that's it for now